I'm Tracy Burns. Welcome to Ask Jay-Z. Jordan Zimmerman here, founder of one of the largest ad agencies in the world, Zimmerman Advertising. Jordan, there are a ton of entrepreneurs in the world today. And big, small, they all hit bumps in the road. And I know you did too. You started out small like everyone else. This is, this is years of sleeping on your mother's couch yes. to get here. If you had to go back in time and, and you could tell people some of the mistakes you made and some of the things you would do differently, what would you tell that young Jordan Zimmerman? You know, it's interesting. It's a great question, Tracy. And uh, this will help a lot of you that are out there. One of the biggest mistakes I made was not understanding the value of hiring the right people, empowering those people, and trusting those people, and realizing that everything doesn't have to come across my desk. Entrepreneurs, we all think nobody could do it as good as me mm -hmm. and that i need to watch everything everybody is doing nothing could be farther from the truth once i realized that and when i started hiring better people started paying them well started bonusing them out and started most importantly not only empowering them but making sure they felt trusted and step back and let them do their job magic happens that's interesting because most entrepreneurs are very type a it's, they're almost coinciding characteristics, right? Correct. So as a type A person, to let go, though, that is such a hard thing to do. It is, but the reason why we are so large today is I can't do every job here. I can't oversee everything. There's department heads, there's directors. You empower them. You entrust in them. Now, do I see all the, a lot of the work? Absolutely. But I don't micromanage anything. You cannot micromanage anything and run a company this big. And if you're an entrepreneur and you have a dream of building a conglomerate, you're going to have to start to let go now, starting today. And if you don't, you're going to be running this small age, this small business forever and ever, or you're going to have a big business start to boom. Someone uh, much smarter than me once said that people have ideas, but teams execute them. Couldn't say it any better. We are only as good as the people I surround. People always say, you built an incredible business. And no, I didn't. I said, I had the vision. My teams helped me build the great business. How do you know, though? You're a one-man shop. You're working out of your basement right now. How do you know that you have to take that next step? Because you're probably working 2 o'clock in the morning and you're spending no time with your family. So Tracy, life is miserable. I started there. I was myself and one partner when I started. And today we have thousands of employees around the country. But how did you know it was time? Because... As you grow in your one accounts, you realize the only way to service those accounts was to build a team of people to help you service those, that business. You can't do it all yourself. I didn't have the resources to do strategy, to do media, to do creative. I need to hire those people. I had to step back, and it means you have to sacrifice as an entrepreneur with money you're going to make today for money you're going to make tomorrow after you build your dream. Isn't part of it, too, that... the as we talked in the last video, the company needs a mission and a brand because it's not you, right? There's a company brand that needs to get out there that people have to sell and believe in. It's not just one person. You know, no, no matter what you do, Party City has a brand. When you walk into the store, if you ask somebody where they are, they say Party City. Ten years ago, they said they're in a party store. And everyone knows nobody has more party for less. Papa John's has a brand, okay? <laughs> and they have it under better ingredients, better pizza. Michael's has a brand where creativity happens. Every one of the brands has a brand position. But it's not a person. Like, I think there's a lot of vanity out there today, too. There, there is. Right? We, there's no room for ego. Right. Zero room for ego in the retail business, zero room for ego in the service business. You have to thrive in both areas by being egoless and hiring people and giving people the credit they deserve. Right. The company hat cannot be just the face of one person. Otherwise, other people aren't going to want to come play. Listen, you're reading entrepreneur for a reason. You want to be a great entrepreneur? These are the things you have to do to be a great entrepreneur. I've seen it happen over and over again. It's your time. That's it. Give it up. Relinquish. It's good stuff, Jordan. Thanks, Tracy. All right. He is at Jay-Z Speaks. I'm at Tracy Burns. And check out his book, Leading Fearlessly. Thank you, Jordan.